In this scene, we have a house surrounded by map borders. Now, I want to apply certain properties in Collision Group to this map border, so let's create a preset and name it Map Border. Then when we edit it, we can delete it, duplicate it, add properties, attributes, tags, or a collision group. So let's add a collision group of map border, add a property of transparency, and um, let's do can touch is false. As you noticed, there was autocomplete for the properties and it knew what type the property was. And this is thanks to Clone Trooper's wonderful API dump that it can get the properties and their types. Uh, then if we close it, we'll see in the summary that it says what collision group it is. It has two properties, zero attributes and no tags. Now if I select it and then I select our walls and I press add, it did it. Now if I look at these walls in properties, we see that the transparency is one, can touch is false, and collision group ID is now three. Um, so let's make another one for windows. Uh, we want our windows to look a certain way and we want to have the ability to break them with a gun or something, I don't know. Uh, so here we'll add transparency again and we'll make it 0 0.6. We'll add material and this one's an enum and it already knows what that it's an enum and what kind. So we can just write glass and now this is not just the string of the word glass. It's actually pointing to the enum.material.glass as we needed. Uh, we'll add an attribute for health of how much damage this can take before it breaks uh, and we'll add a tag for breakable um, and we'll leave the collision group as default and let's now select our windows and then this and apply it oh i'm unselected these whoops there we go um, so as you can see it applied all of the things we asked it to. It's now glass 0 0.6 and it has the health attribute we wanted and if we check tag editor it has the breakable tag. Um, in our preset manager we can say let's we want a slightly different window so we can duplicate this one and then we have a second window um, that we can name window 2 and make a small change to it and yeah all these are saved um it serializes this into json uh so that it can be stored inside the plugin and will save between your studio sessions uh we can search and filter if we have a lot of presets i want to find them more quickly um so yeah